Turkey has chosen an American-made engine for its future fighter jet TFX, but the country will also work with Russia to locally produce aircraft parts, according to Turkey's top procurement official. Ismail Demir, who leads Turkey's Presidency of Defense Industries, said that the TFX program will initially use General Electric's F-110 engine, an afterburning turbofan jet engine produced by the subsidiary GE Aviation. The next phase of the TFX program will involve modifications, development, improvements in switching to local production, Demir said. Turkish Aerospace Industries, a sister company of Tusis Engine Industries is designing, developing and building the TFX. A source at TAI, who spoke to Defense News on the condition of anonymity, said that Russia has the technology in aerocaustic, aerothermodynamics and the infrastructure to build a fighter jet. Russia has the technology, in its Su-57 fighter, to build a fifth-generation turbofan engine. Cooperation would also involve avionics, propulsion system, radar, sensors, ejection seat and data link systems. The Presidency of Defense Industries recently issued a request for proposals to Turkish companies for the development of an indigenous engine to power the TFX. Demir said the RFP aims to create a roadmap for building fighter jet engine technology in Turkey. In July 2019, the U.S. removed Turkey from the American-led, multinational F-35 Joint Strike Fighter program in response to Ankara's decision to acquire and deploy the Russian-made S-400 missile defense system. Turkey has since given pace to the TFX program. The government earmarked an additional $1.3 billion for phase one of the TFX program. A total of 6,000 engineers are working on the program, and Turkish Aerospace Industries said it will soon build its first hangar for the aircraft. The company's CEO said earlier this year it will also build Europe's second best wind tunnel for the TFX. Turkey aims to take the first TFX out of the hangar in 2023 and fly it in 2025 or 2026. In November 2021, Turkey also decided to buy a batch of 40 F-16 Block 70 fighters, 